Now then, a Cambridge eye surgeon has developed a new device which could help spot cataracts and cancer in newborn babies and infants. Dr Louise Allen developed the handheld tool to make eye screening easier for GPs and midwives. Caught early enough, many serious eye conditions can be cured. It's hoped the Neocam will save vision and lives around the world. Matthew Hudson has more. Current technology didn't spot the cataracts in Gerda Labaraska's eyes after she was born. Thankfully, they were diagnosed in time to operate successfully, but it was frightening for her parents. Yeah, it was scary because we didn't know anything about cataract. Maybe that some old people, they have this, but not small baby. We've been really, really, really sad and disappointed. Experts currently use ophthalmoscopes to check for cataracts and the eye cancer retinoblastoma. But its bright light can be hard to use with babies and small children, so symptoms are sometimes missed. So, um, Lindsay to... Rose lectures in midwifery at Cambridge's Anglia Ruskin University. You need a sort of darkened room. You've got to get the baby to open them up their eyes. I mean, that's not that's no mean feat. Uh, they, they don't play ball, and generally when you try and look, at they, they clamp shut and they will not play ball. Cataracts are a lack of translucence in the eye lens. They're the biggest cause of child blindness worldwide. Early detection and surgery is vital. Retinoblastoma is an aggressive cancer. It affects children under five. It can be cured and vision saved if caught early. Now, a new device invented at Addenbrooke's Hospital by Louise Allen could hugely improve diagnosis. So we're used to adults having cataracts and us doing cataract surgery. It's a very common uh, type of surgery that we do, but children are born with cataracts too. And the most important thing about congenital cataracts is you've only got an eight-week window of opportunity to operate on them uh, because of the huge amount of uh, visual plasticity and the neurodevelopment that goes on. And if you don't get the vision back within that period of time, you really have missed the boat. Neocam optimises detection by using two different light sources. The pupil of the eye remains large and there's less chance of the eye closing, making testing easier. It should also cut down on another problem. The existing test told Liam John's parents he might have retinoblastoma when he didn't. They didn't say it's a problem there, but they said they couldn't get the reflex they were expecting. Then we start looking on Google just to find out, OK, what does it mean? Because Janusha is a medical person, so she knows more about it. We shouldn't have looked on Google just to find out what it is. <laughs> waited for the appointment. But actually, that just cost us that 14 days, you know, just like shocking and just like difficult, difficult time, you know. 60 neocams are currently being trialled in Africa, where cataracts remain a major problem. <laughs> Louise Allen needs investment from industry if they are to become widely available. But what price a child's sight or a child's life? Matthew Hudson, ITV News, Addenbrooke's Hospital in Cambridge.